Many of the artists you listen to today don't write their own music. At least, most of their music. There's one guy who has single-handedly dominated the charts, and you've probably never heard of him, and you definitely won't recognize him. This is the story of Max Martin, the legendary songwriter who has written some of the biggest hits of the last 20 years, such as Hit Me Baby One More Time, Blinding Lights, and Blank Space. Max Martin was born Martin Sandberg on February 26, 1971, and grew up in the suburbs of Stockholm. As a teenager, he sang in several groups before forming a glam-style metal band called It's Alive with his friends. Performing under the name Martin White, he subsequently dropped out of high school to pursue music, a decision that paid off when It's Alive landed a record deal with producer Dennis Pop's label, Sheyron. They recorded an album and toured Europe in the early 90s. Meanwhile, Martin began to indulge his secret love of pop music by collaborating on songs with Dennis Pop, who became his mentor. In 1992, Martin was hired as an in-house writer-producer at Sheyron and spent several years learning the ropes. At the same time, Dennis Pop found international success producing Ace of Bass's blockbuster album, The Sign. Pop also renamed his protege Max Martin, which he thought sounded poppier than Martin White. Their big break came when Jive contacted the Sheyron team about working with the new act, a teenage singing group named the Backstreet Boys. Skeptical about a boy band's ability to find chart success, Martin and Pop nevertheless masterminded the group's debut album, which initially flopped in the US, but found an audience across Europe. In 1997, the Backstreet Boys were relaunched in their home country, this time with considerable success. Martin was involved in writing and producing the American hits, Quit Playing Games With My Heart, his first big hit in the US, as Long As You Love Me, and Everybody, Backstreet's Back. In 1998, Pop and Martin worked on the debut albums by boy bands Five and InSync, including the latter's hit single, I Want You Back. Unfortunately, Pop died of cancer later that summer, leaving the Sheyron studio in temporary disarray. I can feel that it's a lot of work, if I'm going to be honest. And that's what I try to think about. I think about them very often. Uh, och tänker ofta under vad han hade gjort nu och hur skulle han ha tänkt i den här situationen och så där. Um, men jag hoppas att han liksom jag hoppas att han inte tycker att jag, jag hoppas att han gillar låtarna. Martin eventually took over musical leadership and found a new primary partner in writer producer Rami who joined him for Britney Spears debut album Baby One More Time in 1999. 1999 was a banner year for Martin. He also worked with Celine Dion and Brian Adams while helming the Backstreet Boys' follow-up album, Millennium, which became the year's best-selling album worldwide on the strength of several Martin tunes, including I Want It That Way and Show Me the Meaning of Being Lonely. He's truly a genius, and uh, we owe everything, especially in our, our career, to him. Martin took honors as ASCAP Songwriter of the Year, an achievement he repeated in 2000 thanks to his work on Britney Spears' Oops I Did It Again album, The Backstreet Boys' Black and Blue, and his co-write of Bon Jovi's It's My Life. During the next 10 years, Martin not only sustained his prominence, but went on the greatest role of his career. His melodies are so incredible and so sophisticated but simple. He was behind additional chart toppers for Katy Perry, including I Kissed a Girl, Teenage Dream, Roar, Dark Horse, California Girls, Pink's So What? How do you create? Creating is a miracle, and he is one of the best creators I've ever met. He just, he just hears stuff. The Weeknd's Blinding Lights, Save Your Tears, Can't Feel My Face, and Taylor Swift's Style, Wildest Dreams, and Blank Space. To date, Martin has written or co-written 25 Billboard Hot 100 number one singles, with him also producing or at least co-producing the majority. Here are the songs. This has seen him certified as having the third most number one singles on Billboard's songwriting chart, behind John Lennon at 26 and Paul McCartney at 32. Martin has received five Grammy Awards for his efforts, including Producer of the Year. He's also enjoyed an Academy Award nomination and two at the Golden Globes. Max Martin is a masterful songwriter who has left an indelible mark on the music industry. Martin's ability to write catchy, memorable songs is unparalleled, and his impact on popular culture is immeasurable. He's proof that sometimes the most important work in music is happening behind the scenes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Turn on the notification bell to not miss any other awesome stories from the world of music.